Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this video we're going to see how we can configure the bar graph that we have on the Ecos Action Machine Expert Basic for the remote graphic display. So let's go to the presentation. These are the two bar graphs that you have on the software. The, this one is for only one variable and the second one is for two variables and depend on the configuration that we have we should be able to modify the value so you can see here this is how you how it looks like on the plc on the software okay for a single bar graph you can see here the value you can modify here the units and if you want and if the variable is configured as editable you can edit the value and if you select the double you can here find the the two options for edit one for the top one and the second one for the bottom one and here is the visualization okay and here's something important that you need to know is that this selection that you have for the minimum and maximum value doesn't limit the entry of the value that you have okay so in order to use this bar graph in our software we just need to go to display the operator interface right click add the new page that we want and we can select for single or double once it is added we can see here on the left part that new page that we have and if we click on the elements we should be able to see the variable that we want to show in there okay and it's a different view if we have a double okay first you need to assign the variable optional you can select the unit that you have and then you have the minimum and maximum value just to make the representation of the bar graph and it's the same for the double and it's optional the right access so if you don't select the right access this visualization it shouldn't be available okay edit one or edit two for these two so once we have configured that the last thing that we need to know or to modify is that we can change the name here of the page and the title so we can easily identify what are we going to configure so now what we're going to do based on the application that we had done in the past we're going to create a double bar graph template to be called in the menu template that we have already explained and then we're going to use these two variables percentage nw10 mdb11 this unit minimum and maximum value okay and enable the access so this is what we're going to do this should be the mod the representation so if we go back to the application that we have okay good what we need to do is to go to display operator interface add page we're going to select this one double bar graph here I'm going to modify the title config motor okay here the message because we haven't configured anything over there so operator this one is the new one that I have add we can change this to mm -hmm, conf mod for motor then here the elements percentage nw10 this one will be seconds this one will be 0 to 10 we want to write this information over there you can see how it's gonna be it looks like this so percentage nw11 unit uh, quantity 0 to 20 and this okay so we have already configured this part so now what we need to do is to call this page in our menu the menu template which is this one add page the menu template elements config uh, motor okay select the page that we have created add and you can see here should be in the bottom now so what we need to do now is to connect with the plc let me just check if i have the connection to the controller 
case in the other page. So ping. So one. Okay. Seem to have the connection. Login. Change the view. So PC to controller. Overwrite. Okay, it's loading something. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can play this. Okay, now if you have this thing that is constantly transferring, you can just remove and plug it. Okay, then plug it again. So now we can go to the config motor, select. Here you can see the two graph. So let me just create, I believe I got it, mm, auxiliar, percentage and W10, and percentage and 11 So we can configure this. This should be the visualization, five, you can see in there how it changed in the top part you can see the value 8 okay here uh, 12 but if I press 55 okay you can see the value in the top is higher than the quantity okay and if I press the number this one the second one it did too should be able to see this and change the value down for the other way scroll down then you should be able to apply this new value okay apply should have the seven so this is the easiest way just to represent uh, in a bar graph two or one variable Okay, and you have the limits, the quantity, and the value that you want to show on the remote display. So, thank you very much for watching this video, and I see you on the next one.